What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Awesome Kids TV YouTube channel. We're back yet again for more Billcraft adventures. Yay! Oh, it's been so long since I've done the Kermit voice. <laughs> I would like to introduce to you our amphibious racer from 2022. The boat racer. Half boat, half race car, all in one character. That character is part of the AKT Racers Crazy Experiment series, and uh, honestly, I think it turned out pretty cool. We have blown up a birthday bomb in the previous video, a giant birthday cake day bomb. For my sister's birthday. Happy birthday to my sister. Uh, she has been really helpful uh, when it comes to dark moments. Uh, she was always there uh, to help uh, guide us through the darkest of all moments. And as her life continues until her end, until her demise, we will always uh, have all the we will always share her good-hearted stuff oh and I had just eaten some bread and cheese with Kira mom earlier <laughs> so I guess um, uh, that's something uh, I uh, had to get into <laughs> anyway we really need to, uh, upgrade this, uh, uh, Sparkle Desert Temple. Anyway, we have not yet tested all the traps in the temple uh, that we created last time. So I... So I guess we'll let the mobs of this world do that for us. Thank you, but we don't need any testing done. Or There we go, just slay this uh, plethora of mobs here. The traps are not ready to be tested yet at the moment. <laughs> As you can... Uh, plainly see the rest of the traps are not ready to be tested yet. Well, actually we already tested two of them. We had tested uh, This one The mob spawner. I think that was really cool uh, We tested the arrow trap that was really cool But we had not tested the TNT um, pressure plate thingies yet. We haven't tested them yet. Although they are very reminiscent of the Backyard Gets episode of Ghost there where uh, Austin, Mad Scientist Unique was, I mean, Mad Scientist Tasha's assistant, uh, goes out to find the Mummy King, the Werewolf, and the Vampire. <laughs> Yes, those three monsters specifically. And so, we are going to be making another one of our awesome lands. It might... This, unfortunately, is the last land ever of this whole entire uh, series. This is... Uh, this uh, could be... Uh, uh, potentially one of the best lands ever. Uh, that is right, guys. Today we are making a, um, yet again another, uh, forest type of biome, but this one's gonna be way different because it, it, because it's, you guessed it, snow themed. That's right, we are making the snowy tundra of lost memories that's right the 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 snowy forest of long lost memories 
Uh, that is the forest we are going to be making in uh, this video. Uh, in honor of my sister's birthday of 2022. Without any further ado, we shall get building this Winter Wonderland-esque build. And of course we're going to be using spruce and birch wood <laughs> in order to build this. Along with snow and uh, uh, items like that, blocks like that. Let us begin building this cold, cold tundra. We'll start by making the snow, uh, snowy ground. <laughs> we'll start with the snowy ground. <laughs> and then we will move on to, of course, all the trees and the flowers and stuff. We'll even have, we'll even have like a, a tree, uh, that, uh, um, has long lost family members and stuff. I decided to call this the tree of long lost family members, uh, the snowy forest of long lost family members, cause, you know... Uh, it's a lot more appropriate for Christmas time, but it isn't Christmas, uh, but who cares? But that doesn't mean, but that won't stop us from doing what we love to do best. <coughs> Speaking of that, um, uh, we will get to making a future Christmas short uh, from 2022. We will get to that in a moment. For now though, we have a ton of big plans for my sister's birthday extravaganza. That's right, I have planned a big huge birthday extravaganza for my sister's birthday. It comes every August 28th. That's right, my sister was born August 28th, uh, 2001. Uh, so that you might know, I was born two years later on May 28th, 2003. That was generations, uh, before COVID. A couple of them before COVID. And this is after COVID. A couple years later, 21 years later. <coughs> we'll add a birch bush and a hedge, a little tiny hedge, a free block high hedge. There you go, there is our winter wonderland forest of long lost family members. Now we shall get ready to build the tree of log lost family members. <laughs> We will start by building the snow eye like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Ten blocks outward. Same over in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Now we go ten inward. Uh, before we get into that. We have to build uh, all of this. You see all this we have to build? That's why we're making the process a lot faster uh, by, of course, building all of this in. Oh, gee, okay, tablet switch. I gotta hurry this project up. I gotta hurry this project up, guys. Uh, tablet switch has started to happen again on my sister's birthday. Oh dear, I should have, uh, I should have made this project after uh, the tablet switch. But I guess that's my mistake from 2022. I don't care though. 
as soon as I am done uploading this uh, video, as soon as I'm done getting this project, as soon as I'm done uh, getting this project done, we'll uh, start to switch tablets, or will we? Or will we? I don't know. Like I said, each and every uh, outer layer of this snowy tundra will um be ten be going in ten blocks <laughs> and our skeleton just uh killed itself <laughs> anyway we're nearly done which means we need to fill this last bit in and e voila now we need to make that ginormous tree <laughs> This custom tree is going to uh, be very tree-like and kind of round-ish uh, for a giant tree, of course. I love making custom stuff like this. It's in the uh, middle left, left middle, uh, for those who want, who want to know. Anyway, we will be building the tree 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 14 blocks high. So that means we have to build it about 14 blocks high, exactly. So that means we're going to have to build as fast as we can uh, before the end of the project uh, comes. <laughs> The basic idea behind this customized tree is that uh, memories of a long lost uh, family member of pony families like the Petal Storm family will be played via through holographic projections, holographic projector. <laughs> um, and each and every one of them will of course be a different color. Uh, representing a different emotional memory like joy sadness anger fear and disgust I did spell disgust wrong one time when I made the portal to pit petals mine for MLPG 5 so sorry about that it had a double s uh, kind of gimmick not a single s <laughs> there we go There we go. Okay, the tree is done. The main structure of the tree is done. We can now get to uh, building the rest of the tree. <laughs> we'll have these roots um, come out like that on each and every single spot of the uh, snowy tundra island so we'll have them come out in a tree like fashion to make it more realistic we'll have a root spread uh, like this <laughs> there we go look at that look at all the roots coming out of the ground they look pretty realistic eh <laughs> now it is time for the big tough tough leaves on top that's right the spread the birch leaves, the giant le tuft made entirely out of leaves on top. There we This is gonna look amazing, you guys. This is gonna look amazing. I'm doing all this for my sister's birthday so that she wouldn't be completely left out. So, yeah, that's why we do this every year. Uh, we make our family members feel special and whatnot. That's what we do every year 
on Z family members' uh, birthday. Our mom, by the way, is 93 29th birthday sold, by the way. 93 of them old. She's 93 29th sold. Can you imagine that? Actually, I can't. Our mom is half mortal. No wonder she can live for so long at the same age. No wonder. Yeah, no freaking wonder, eh? Anyway, this giant tuft of leaves is looking kind of awkward. Kind of awkward. Kind of not awkward. I think this custom tuft of leaves is looking pretty good. It does look kind of weird, but if you're a British or American dude or any kind of person from around the world who loves something weird, then you should definitely uh, check out Awesome Kids TV. A worldwide favorite from twenty from October eighteenth, twenty twenty uh two thousand fifteen from October eighteenth, two thousand fifteen to August twenty twenty two. Seven years later I am still one of the best uh YouTubers around. <laughs> Although I do have to give all the other YouTubers a credit. Oh, and the Toys Review Toys channel, by the way, is no longer available on YouTube. So it's the Disney Car Toys channel. Rest in peace to those channels. But anyway, we're looking pretty good. This whole entire project is looking pretty good. We got giant, uh, tough thing of tree, uh, leaves. And, uh... Everyone is enjoying this creation from 2022. I will get to the future. I will make that, uh, I will make a future Halloween short in the future. And, of course, um, uh, we will have, uh, creepy stuff happening. What? We'll have supernatural stuff happening and stuff in that short. <laughs> we will make a back to school short once, uh, um, the back to, s once summer ends and back to school season begins. <laughs> we will get to that soon in the future, but for now, we're focusing on this darn creation, this darn awesome creation. Wait a minute, Kira didn't tablet switch with me. Oh, my brain boggled me again. My mind has gone me boggled again. Yep, it has gone me boggled again. <laughs> Speak it again, boggled by your own mind. I think this turned out pretty good. This turned out pretty fantastic. I love all the effort I put into it. <laughs> Especially the tuft of leaves. The leaves tuft uh, does look pretty good. Very magical and nature-like. If you're a nature lover that has loved nature and animals for uh, 20 years like I have, then oh boy, you're gonna love this like I do. Were you... Were you born in between uh, 2003 and 4? Let us know. And you can definitely be uh, featured in one of our future uh, feature videos. One of our featured videos of the future. Maybe you'll be in one of them. Uh, perhaps. I don't know. You are going to have to decide on your own or with your parents or something. If you had lived with them for so long. Actually, now that I think about it, I've always questioned how I could possibly live uh, with two kidneys. Like, how can you possibly live with two kidneys? I've always questioned that type of thing for so long. <laughs> anyway, I decided to make the leaves uh, droop down. 
I decided to make the leaves like droop down a bit <laughs> so that it looks like an actual tree that you would find in like a, a park or something. You know when you play out the snow every Christmas season? Uh, you uh, uh, find a tree with leaves falling down like drooping down that's the kind of feeling i am replicating with this uh uh project here <laughs> there we go droop down leaves droop 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 we want this to look as good as possible so that um yeah it I want it to be as amazing as possible. Okay, there we go. That looks amazing. Now we add another layer of snow. Now we add a couple blocks of ice everywhere. Couple blocks of packed ice and regular ice. Uh, we'll add ice over here, ice over in this direction, so that looks good. We'll add a little frozen river, we'll add a frozen river right there, and we'll add a tiny little frozen lake. <laughs> That'll look good. We'll add a frozen uh thing of water over here frozen water over here the froze this is a bigger frozen lake so that's why it's so frozen <laughs> i used to care a lot for that movie now i don't care for it th uh, that much anymore because as Stevie T says it sucks. It doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't really matter. Which movie's good or not. Which ones suck and which ones don't suck. Anyway, we need to put on the final detail. Uh, so. There you go. Now we need the memory projector. The memory projector is gonna be just redstone. A redstone lamp. A lever, and of course, glass. Oh, along with some redstone torches. They could be the, uh, the real, the film reel things <laughs> on the projector. Now we just need a stand. I'm gonna go for cobblestone wall there you go cobblestone wall then the redstone lamp and glass around it now we add the lever there you go we got a memory projector <laughs> Now we just need a memory projection screen. Luckily, we can use white wool for that. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye, and don't forget to stay tuned for future videos.